welcome back, Flare community. As always, I hope everyone is having an absolutely incredible day so far. Today, we are going to talk about the differences between F assets and Y assets, both of which exist on the Flare network. Stick around at the end for some bonus material on Z assets too. So let's start with F assets, something which we should all be very familiar with these days. F assets are assets which have been integrated and then represented on the Flare network. There are currently four F assets as we know. The next F assets to be integrated will come down to a governance vote for the holders of the Spark token. It's a strong possibility that the next F asset could either be Algorand or Cardano ADA, but that's another story. The four assets which are currently integrated with the Flare network at the minute are XRP, Litecoin, Dogecoin and XLM. When minted on the Flare network, these become FXRP, F Litecoin, F Dogecoin and F XLM respectively. In fact, we know that to mint an F asset, the F asset system must have 2.5 times the value of the asset locked up in Spark, which makes the whole process trustless. So what do I mean by trustless? It means that the assets can essentially be minted and redeemed in a trust-free manner. You will not have to rely on the custody of others. It is completely dynamic and the collateral backing the F asset provides a reliable way to always redeem the F asset for its original at any given time. One of the unique things about F assets is that you will be rewarded for bringing liquidity to the Flare network. If you hold an F asset, you will receive Spark daily as a reward, generating a passive income source right there and then. The rewards for these F assets come from what we call a rewards pool. Now there are two different types of reward pools. We have the general rewards pool, which encompasses all assets excluding Litecoin. And the second reward pool is dedicated just to holders of Litecoin or F Litecoin. Now this is just a brief summary of F assets. If you would like to know more, then feel free to check the link above. So let's move on to Y assets. Y assets are similar to F assets, but with some subtle differences. Y assets are essentially wrapped assets on the Flare network. These Y assets are currently specific to the Flare Finance platform, who have announced support for many different assets to be used within their suite of products. Y assets will come into existence via Flare Wrap, one of the products offered by Flare Finance. From the Flare Finance white paper, we can see that Wrapped assets are placed in a non-custodial smart contract along with other holders' assets of the same kind. Upon wrapping from the outside network, a bridge relay sends information to on-chain smart contracts to mint new assets to the holder's provided receiving address. When a holder of wrapped assets would like to exit to their original off-chain network, they can do so by burning the wrapped currency on Flare Wrap and receiving their unwrapped currencies. Flare Finance have added numerous wrapped assets to their platform and we can also expect two more to be announced before launch. Let's have a quick recap of what they are. We have Spark, of course, XRP as an F asset, Dogecoin as an F asset, Litecoin as an F asset, and XLM as an F asset. Now here's where we get onto the Y assets. We have Algorand, Cardano, Ethereum, Telcoin, Celsius Network, Gala Games, SHIB Token, Sanshu, USDT, USDC, Binance Coin, or BNB, PancakeSwap, Zinfin, 
pack protocol, and finally, casino coin. And as mentioned before, only two more assets will be supported by the Flare Finance ecosystem prior to governance taking over from then on forth. Now, let's have a quick look at how Flare Finance described the differences between F assets and Y assets. In this tweet, they say, What's the difference between an F asset and a Y asset? F assets are fully trustless, non-custodial assets that are created by the main network, the Flare network. Y assets are semi-trustless custodian assets that are wrapped from one network to another using Flare wrap. Now it's important to realize that there is a distinct difference and having an F asset is much more advantageous to having a Y asset. Holding F assets will pay you Spark every day. So that's pretty much the differences. Now, I did mention at the start of this video that we're going to look over Z assets. Now, some of you may not have actually heard about Z assets. Z assets will become available due to a recent partnership with Panther Protocol, which will give users the option to preserve their privacy. Panther provides DeFi users with fully collateralized, privacy-enhancing digital assets, leveraging crypto economic incentives and ZK Snarks technology. In 2022, Panther will introduce a privacy-enabled cross-chain decentralized exchange on a scalable layer two solution. This essentially means you will be able to convert your F and Y assets into Z assets, which will have the benefit of being private while still maintaining anti-money laundering and know your customer compliance. So there we have it, F assets, Y assets, and Z assets. Now, I create videos surrounding the Flare network on a daily basis. So if you're new here and enjoyed the content, please feel free to subscribe and if you would like to support the channel, check out the benefits you can receive as a member of the Flare community channel by clicking the join button below. I really hoped you learned something today and it was an absolute pleasure creating this video for you as always. So with that being said, I hope you have an absolutely incredible day and until next time, I'm out. Mission Control, we have liftoff.